Hey everyone, Catch here. Merry Christmas and uh, Happy New Year. Uh, today's video is going to be slightly different. Um, I'm going to do a lot of talking and we're going to talk about um, CPU throttling or thermal throttling, power limit throttling uh, when uh, gaming with a laptop uh, that isn't designed for gaming. Uh, so I uh, have a Dell XPS with an external GPU uh, and I found with certain games that are CPU intensive, um, after a short while, uh, I get uh, really bad performance issues. Uh, initially, I thought it was the external GPU, but turns out that it's the laptop throttling the CPU because it's getting too warm. Uh, so obviously, once it, uh, it does this by reducing power to the CPU, and that then in turn slows the CPU down, which basically slows everything down. It can't communicate with the external GPU fast enough, so you obviously get the frame rate uh, hit and just general all-round system slug sluggishness. Uh, so I'm going to do a quick video to demonstrate throttling, and then I'll do a video uh, to show um, uh, what you can do uh, to try limit it. Um, I don't know if there's a perfect solution out there. Don't game with a laptop. Um, but uh, let me get on with it. And once it starts throttling, um, I'll start talking again. So while we're playing this, if you look at the uh, right hand side of my desktop screen, you'll see there there's some indicators where we've got the temperature and same in the top left hand corner of the game, the temperature of the uh, laptop. So the average is 87 degrees. And we've got the speed, obviously, so just about 3.1 uh, gigahertz. And once it starts throttling, you'll see a yellow indicator appearing in the uh, blue indicators on the bottom right hand corner of the desktop screen, which is Intel's extreme utility. Uh, there you go, straight away, as I just as I said it. So you can see there power limit throttling has appeared. So things have got a bit too warm. Uh, laptops is going to start reducing power. You can see immediately that the CPU is now running at 2.8 gigahertz. And as we continue, uh, it will throttle down lower and lower. It's 2.6 already, getting there. And as this happens, the frame rate of obviously suffers. And you'll notice that the eGPU usage starts to drop. Uh, that's basically because the laptop can't send data fast enough um, through the port because it's being throttled. So we can see now we're down to 2.5 gigahertz, which is basically what the stock speed of the laptop is without turbo boost. And now it's just dropping. It's going to slowly drop. Now in this scene, um, a bunch of cops come and things get busy and it will drop even more. So I'm going to get these police to follow me. There's another one. 
So it'll start to get busy, which means we're taxing the CPU harder, which means it's going to throttle harder because it's not cooling down enough. So we're at 2.2, basically 2.3 gigahertz. Let's hang around here for a little bit. See if we can get another police car to join in here. Yeah, that's great. So you can see here that the eGPU is now under 90% utilized, which means our frame rates are going to start taking a hit. We're now getting around 60 frames per second and under. You can see now we're running at 2.1 gigahertz basically. We can see that the temperature has been reduced, so it was up at 80. Um, it got to about 83, I think, before it started kicking in. Uh, so the temperature is back down to 60, uh, but it's going to keep on throttling. It will just keep on throttling while uh, the CPU is being taxed. Um, so you can see now we're under 2 gigahertz. Uh, frame rate is under 50, and uh, eGPUs. EGPU usage is now 75%. Uh, and this obviously isn't good news for us, is it? Okay, so that didn't take long at all. Okay, so I'm going to pause this and then show you what settings you can modify using uh, Intel's Extreme Utility. Uh, and MSI Afterburner to try control this. Uh, once you make those changes, you have to restart uh, the laptop. And I'll do that and we'll see how it works. And uh, I need to say now that these are settings that I've researched for my laptop, which is a Dell XPS 9550. It works in my environment. Uh, so please do your own research. Don't use my settings. Find out um, what what people recommend for your laptop. Um, have a think about it. And if you do get this problem, uh, then by all means try uh, solving it with uh, some of these uh, techniques. Um, but again, don't just use my settings. Do do some research, um, and hopefully it all work out. Okay. So the first thing I, I want to do is I want to make sure that my GPU, which is currently at 62 degrees C, is taken out of the equation. So I don't want its temperature because that temperature, 61 degrees C, is being fed into the system and the throttling software or the, whatever the laptop uses will, will have access to that temperature and it will put it into its equation of whether it needs to throttle or not. So while gaming, um, what I tend to do is I switch this the fan off from auto and I raise it up to 65% that keeps oh sorry clicked auto that keeps it um, pretty cool manageable um, what I'm trying to do here is keep it under 60 degrees and uh, th th this I find quite good the noise from the box uh, isn't distracting um, and so all I'm doing here is taking the GPU, the external GPU, out of the equation for temperatures. Okay, we can still see that it's power throttling here. I mean, it's going to carry on doing that until I restart because it's basically entered uh, throttling mode and it just won't come out of it <laughs> for ages. Um, even if I shut down the game and everything, it would still sit there for ages. Okay, so what other things can we do? Well, there's this uh, technique called uh, undervolting. So you can see here under the core controls, we have core voltage offset um, and uh, CPUs have a voltage range. Basically, you can overclock them, you can underclock them. And uh, what we want to do is basically reduce the voltage without losing performance. Um, and because it has that tolerance, this this actually works. And by doing that, we keep the performance, reduce the power, which then uh, reduces temperatures. So for my Dell XPS and my Intel chipset that I have, uh, from research, uh, the re recommendation is between 125 and 160. Um, I'm going to set this to minus 150. Okay, so I'm going to apply that. 
So what we're doing there is uh, basically just trying to uh, reduce power. Notice there isn't a, uh, an immediate effect because like I said, once it enters throttling uh, mode, it just basically stays there. But so we've set that setting. Then there's this other option called Turbo Boost Short Power Max Enable. So my laptop has a 2.5 gigahertz standard uh, a turbo boost of 3.1 and then a turbo um, turbo boost max of 3.5 um, and I'm going to disable that jump from 3.1 to 3.5 because uh, it just draws power that and I don't need it. it doesn't make that much of a difference um, so I'm going to disable that feature you can see here the uh, wattage it uses so uh, when that gets enabled it can draw up to 60 uh, 56 watts um, so I'm going to disable that and you will see there immediately that the power max level for it gets disabled I'm going to apply that and now what we can do is because we've disabled that feature um, what we can do with the turbo uh, the normal turbo uh, boost power max is we can increase this I'm going to increase this to 56 which is what the short power max was so I'm going to increase that to 56 and you can see there that the power limit throttling has immediately stopped because it has uh, a bit more power available to it and then the next thing I'm going to do is increase this turbo power time window. So because I've increased uh, the amount of power that the turbo boost can use, what I'm going to do is increase how often it can use it. Um, so the, the default is 28 seconds and I'm just going to uh, ramp that up to 64 seconds. Now, the whole point of these changes is to try keep my processor speed at 3.1 gigahertz uh, to limit uh, temperatures um, and therefore reduce power limit throttling. So we can see now that all my indicators um, are good. I've applied this. I'm just going to save this profile and I'm going to save it as gaming. So that's all saved. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to restart my system um, and then once that's done I'll launch everything again and we'll play uh, the same level again and try get it to uh, do some throttling um, hopefully with these settings it should all be good and we shouldn't get any throttling and we should just be able to play the game okay here's a transition Hey everyone, okay, so I've uh, restarted everything. I've restarted the laptop. I've loaded everything back up again. Um, you can see here after I've uh, reloaded the Intel Extreme tuning utility, we can see that the changes I made are still in effect. Um, so that's all good. I've fired up uh, MSI Afterburner and I've set the fan speed uh, to 65%. Um, I've got GTA running. And we're going to play basically the same level again and see if um, we've improved the uh, power limit throttling. So let's get on with it.
so so far so good uh, by this stage uh, before it was beginning to throttle so this is good let's see uh, how it works once we've got a bunch of uh, NPCs the police chasing us <clears throat> I'll try and make it all busy again and see how long it takes to start doing uh, power throttling So we've got two police cars chasing three now, hopefully. And we'll go to the same intersection. We see here that the uh, temperature um, is doing pretty good. I think it hasn't gone over 75. And even after disabling the max turbo um, and setting the uh, different time limit uh, for turbo, uh, the CPU is still running at 3.1 gigahertz and it's using all four cores as we'd expect the eGPU fan is doing its job and keeping the GPU well below 60 degrees Let's go up to the square here where there'll be some more people. So this is looking really good. So by making uh, the undervolt changes and just making changes to the turbo max power, disabling it, and then just increasing the turbo max power to 56 watts, but decreasing the amount of time that it would be using that, we have done a pretty good job here of stopping thermal uh, throttling and power limit throttling now I can't say if this would work for everybody um, but I have found um, it has worked pretty well for me um, and I tend now only to get uh, the laptop throttling uh, if I'm playing a game and then uh, something starts updating like Microsoft Windows starts updating or my antivirus program starts updating or running an actual scan um, so uh, if you disable uh, basically automatic updates uh, disable your antivirus while gaming uh, you should have a pretty good experience um, I would say and you shouldn't get throttling so as you can see here the temperatures yeah uh, around 70 degrees average and has uh, hasn't peaked up above 80 that's for sure um, I don't even think it's gone above 75 um, so everything's looking actually really good and that is my video sorry it's a long one and sorry I had to do a lot of talking but I just needed to explain uh, what it was and how you can sort it out um, I will say there is another application called throttle stop that uh, people uh, like to use I believe it has more options than Intel's um, utility uh, it allows you to switch off certain sensors um, it's free you can download it and I'll repeat that again it's throttle stop um, but uh, I looked at it and it's a lot more complicated uh, to use um, in my opinion there's so much there 
that it can be quite confusing unless you do uh, your research. However, there is a great online community for it and it has some great documentation. So if you find that you can't control your throttling uh, with the Intel utility, then uh, my recommendation would be to uh, look up some vi videos about throttle stop um, uh, and do some research on that and see how you go. Uh, but as far as I'm concerned, um, for me, in my situation, uh, the Intel Extreme Utility seems to be doing a fine job. Um, and uh, with that said, thanks for watching. I hope this video has been useful. Uh, if it has, uh, please like. And of course, as always, please comment. Uh, if you have throttling issues, uh, if this vi video has solved them for you, or if you need a little bit of extra help, um, I'll do my best to um, answer and provide whatever assistance I can. Take care. Cheers.